All right, Fishaholics, so welcome back to another episode of Welcome to the Channel. Uh, for today's video, we got something cool going on and really interesting. And I just got the kayak fully loaded here in Arapica, Florida, and I'm staying at that beautiful little house for uh, the weekend. And uh, I got invited to stay here uh, from the guys over at Salt Strong, Joe, Luke, and Cameron. And other than myself, uh, I'm gonna be joined by a bunch of other uh, content creators uh, like uh, Brant from Fishing with Brant, Brad from Bearded Brad, JC from JC Fishing, uh, Brent from Sea Dude, and Matt from Bama Beach Bum, Ryan Mori, Michael from Tackle the People, Thawney, and uh, I believe that's everyone. Uh, it's a you know a big group of guys, and uh, we're all going to be fishing and exploring an area that we've never fished before. And I'm about to launch the kayak here on this saltwater tidal creek that leads out to the Gulf. And I'm going to be fishing alongside JC and Cameron, and then I believe Thawney as well. And uh, it should be a good time. The rest of the guys are going out in skiffs and boats, and uh, it's going to be like a little like tournament. Uh, and uh, whoever catches the biggest speckled trout, redfish, or snook. Uh, is then going to win like a custom like WWE like kind of like title belt which is cool and then if you sweep the whole board and catch the biggest trout redfish and snook uh, which is going to be hard to do uh, then you'll actually get like another prize from Salt Strong which will be really cool uh, so uh, let's get the kayak in the water and get this day started hopefully we catch some fish some big fish I should say and then as the day progresses you'll uh, probably see more of the guys as we uh, come back together towards the end of the day but uh, yeah, let's get this ball rolling. Well, to start things off, uh, we're heading down the Saltwater Creek to the Gulf, and uh, I've got some great news. Just realized I forgot my sunglasses, but uh, the, the good news I'm forgetting the sunglasses, is, it's bad news that could be good for getting them, is it's not going to be sunny all day. It's uh, going to be sunny till like 10 a.m., and then uh, it's supposed to rain and thunder and lightning, and it's going to be a nasty day. It's been real nasty the last like few days. so. I'm not going back for him. We're just gonna fish and see what happens. Hopefully, sight fishing isn't really uh, uh, name, the name of the game for today. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, being that it's still early, I think I'm gonna start off with uh, the Salt Strong Moonwalker top water uh, spook. And uh, Salt Strong also hooked us up with uh, a bunch of other stuff in this bag here. And. Uh, We've got some really cool power prawns that imitate a uh, little shrimp. And uh, if you want to uh, save 40%, just click the link and uh, pick some of these up. And we've also got a lot of nice soft plastics like the Classic Slam Shady. I've got uh, the Bomber and uh, the uh, Leprechaun. And I've got some more Moonwalkers some Dr. Juice. Uh, if you want to get a free bottle of this, just click the link in the description and uh, all you do is have to pay for the shipping. And also they're doing like an 11 lures deal for one penny for uh, like some of these lures here. Uh, you literally just have to pay one penny for 11 uh, of these lures that you can select like individually, whichever ones you want, and then uh, just pay the shipping. So pretty cool stuff. We're gonna probably work through some of that uh, stuff today, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some Top water explosions this morning. All right, well, uh, where we started casting, uh, we both did not see much of anything that looked very fishy. So uh, it's uh, like 30 minutes later, and uh, we just uh, kayaked probably like a mile, mile and a half further south to this uh, bayou spot uh, where it uh, drops off, it looks like, uh, to much deeper water. And uh, we're gonna try and give it a go here. All right, let's start casting again. All 
all right well it seems like this channel here is uh only like a max depth of like three feet oh just had a bite oh fish on fish on <laughs> oh, no i don't know what it is oh it's a lizard fish <laughs> Woo! Oh, baby. not getting skunked today <laughs> i'm actually surprised <laughs> that i just got this all right, well, nothing really here to write home about uh, except the lizard fish. So uh, we're actually going to head a little bit further in uh, from the bayou, like closer to the mangroves uh, up this creek. And uh, we thought it looked real good because uh, there's some like nice mangrove points uh, and some structure. And uh, yo, what, what is that? Dolphins? Oh, some dolphins like really busting up in the creek there. Uh, that's a good sign, dude. Like they're definitely going to be up there if uh, there's a lot of bait. It's a lot of bait. There's a lot of fish. And uh, also on Google Maps up this creek, we uh, spotted a, a guy uh, pulling on a skiff with another guy fishing on the bow, and uh, it looked like he was in a pretty, pretty like good, you know, good-looking area. And uh, unfortunately for him, if that's like a good spot, like Google Maps just kind of gave it away for us. So we're gonna go uh, check it out, and uh, yeah, just keep moving around until we uh, see something that we like, and um, hopefully catch some fish. All right, nothing on the Moonwalker, and uh, we made it up into the spot where we saw the boat uh, pulling. It was like right up there. And uh, this grass that's in here is extremely thick. Look at all that. And like right here, it's like three, four feet, but it just come, you know, grows up from the bottom and is all the way up to the surface right now. So I'm gonna cut this bait off and I'm gonna try and fish something a little more weedless. So I'm gonna grab some of these uh, 1 8 ounce uh, EWG hooks that have a a screw lock on I'm gonna tie it on with a loop knot so it has a lot of action all right and then once we have our loop knot let's grab uh, the Alabama leprechaun and thread it on That should be a really good weedless bait. JC is hooked up. Did you snag a mullet? I don't think so. It felt like it bumped it, dude. No, it's a red, I think. Right? Yeah, it's a red. Oh, it's a small red, dude. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. On the board. Heck yeah. I gotta land this. Now, but... All right, let me. Uh, Come over to check it out. If he's a keeper, you could throw him in my cooler. Not even close. <laughs> no, they gotta be 18 inches to keep. This thing's not 18. It might be. Yeah. Hook popped right out. Here, wait, put him in the net. I'll measure him. Right. Like, just so he doesn't get this away. This could be the belt winning fish, dude. Yeah, maybe. catches a redfish today. <laughs> I mean, hopefully you and I get more, but... I mean, if there's one, spot. there's yeah. definitely gotta be another. This guy, he's gonna be close. He thinks, I'm gonna say he's like 17. I'm gonna say, yeah, it's gonna be really close. It's like 16 and three quarters. Really? Yeah, not bad. I wanna just you can send him on his way. Send him back? Yeah. Well, that's a good start. Sweet. We didn't pound kayak. it. Air pound. Yeah. pound. <laughs> nice. We didn't kayak this far not to find fish. Lizard fish and a red fish. Good. So, but like, Google Maps panned out. Yes. We saw that guy sitting right yeah. here. <laughs> All right, well, that was pretty cool. Thanks, Google. <laughs> Let's keep at it. Uh, that fish was sitting like right off like that little mangrove point there. So I think uh, there should be some more sitting right in here. Really? Oh man, how, like, how big were they? Okay. J JC just saw a school of snook cruise right through this creek. Yeah, we gotta go real slow through here. There's one. He's ripping at me, dude. No, it's, I think it's a red. Another red. Oh my God. I, look how orange he is, dude. That is beautiful. Look at that red. Dang, dude, that's a gorgeous fish. Dude, that was such a weird bite. Like, 
I felt the thump. He like almost flew out of the water and then he just started ripping towards your kayak. <laughs> and that's why like I pulled him away. What is that? Oh man. Did we just find a, a creek loaded with snook and reds? And this is probably the most orange redfish I've ever caught. Like look at the color on that. That is just beautiful. And he crushed the Alabama leprechaun. Fished really slow just with some little twitches. All right, this guy is just about touching 17. A little 17 inch redfish. Oh, there's something. That looks like he's something chasing a bait. Oh no, dude, that was a big fish. So guys, we just cut through this creek and we were actually were going to like a salt pond, but we went the wrong direction. And then uh, we just came out to like the other side of the bayou and we're gonna hit this spot real quick. And uh, kind of got lost back in the creek because it's so tiny and uh, dense. But as soon as we got out here, like just a big fish, I spooked right off this uh, little flat, it looks like. And there's a lot of bait. And the tide just started coming in. So we're getting some good current flow. But uh, yeah, still just uh, the lizard fish and the red for me. JC just got the one red as well. We're dividing and conquering. You go that way, I'll go to the right. We'll meet in the middle or something. All right. Oh, something nice just busted right down there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. I'm in the zone. Come on, fish. Come on. What? You just got one? Nice. JC just got a 22, 23 inch red. So uh, that's a keep. That's a keeper. If uh, if you want to throw him in my cooler, I've got it over here. So we're trying to have like a little catch and cook later with uh, all the guys. So we are trying to bring home some meat. I know JC was throwing the Fred. So I'm gonna try doing the same, but on this weedless hook. Let's uh, check him out. He's nice. Golden, very pretty. Yeah, just like the small ones. Yeah, he's probably gonna go 22. I'm Beautiful gonna fish. Yeah, it's definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. He's like 20, let's see, 21. 21. Yeah, 21. All right. Nice keeper redfish right there. All right. Bled out the red. We're going to put him on ice. Let's get back to fishing. There's a fish. Fish on. Oh yeah, decent red, right off the grass. Nice. Oh yeah. Ripping some drag. Beautiful fish. Actually a lot bigger than I thought he was gonna be. Nice in the net. Woo! And it paid off switching to the Fred and fishing it weedless. This red is just touching 23. Nice, solid, solid fish. And uh, since we 
dropped this one on his head. He's going in the box and uh, we have 11 guys to feed back at the house and uh, we're not really sure how any of the other guys are doing except uh, we heard one is ordering pizza and uh, caught a pinfish and maybe like one keeper trout. So at least if we got two reds, I think we'll have a nice dinner tonight with everyone. All right, well, I fished for like 10, 15 more minutes after that uh, last red, and uh, unfortunately, no other bites. Did spook a couple more fish, and uh, I wish we could fish uh, the rest of the day, but uh, we checked the radar, and look at this sky. We've got some nasty, nasty weather, and uh, we've been seeing some lightning here and there, hearing a lot of thunder, and uh, there's a lot of rain that's probably gonna dump on us if we don't get out of here soon, uh, or it's inevitable we're gonna get hit, but uh, we just wanna at least be cl back closer to the house and uh, we might do some fishing around that creek area if uh, you know it's not raining and if there's no lightning because I don't want to become a uh, french fry fishaholic <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah we're gonna head out of here uh, pretty sweet that's uh, we both caught two reds in a spot we've never fished before so I'll probably pick things back up uh, closer to the house Got a fish on, on the way back. <laughs> Woo. One of my buddies from up north, look at that. Oh, hooked into something nice on the troll. No way, something good. I wonder what we could have here. Just got back to the creek where uh, we launched the kayak at him, where the house is. This uh, camera's about to die. Hopefully I can get this fish in before it does. And uh, the storm wasn't that bad actually. I mean, there was quite a bit of lightning, but uh, it was kind of like all around us, but not never like right over us. Oh no, come on! A big catfish on the troll. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess it's better than nothing, but not what I was hoping for. I was thinking it was gonna be like a big speckled trout or maybe at least a jack creval. We got the uh, kayak uh, stowed under a little overhang so it's not getting wet. I checked the other cooler and uh, some of the other guys uh, brought back some Spanish Max and uh, like an 18, 19 inch trout. And uh, yeah, I wanted to introduce you to all the guys. There's no one teaching this stuff. Hey, uh, say hello to, hello to Tommy right here. And uh, it's been a pleasure to finally meet you. <laughs> and uh, I, don't, I don't think I met you. Toby? Toby? All right, cool. Hey, nice to meet you. Is that too loud? Let me show, show you uh, the rest of the guys. Hey everyone, say hi. Uh, we got, uh, Mike, everyone say, I'll say their name and you say your channel. Mike. Michael Tackle to the people. People. Matt right here. Okay. Brent. 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 Yeah. Check them all out and there's Cameron. Yeah. Angler up with Cameron. <laughs> so you all like good group of guys. Uh, you know, it's like the, the saltwater squad and uh, you know, some nasty weather today, but uh, we all caught something at least. Yeah. You know, fishing new waters, that's hard to do. So. Um, I don't know. It, it, you, need, if you need to give a thumbs up on this video for this man right here. That's <laughs> he literally right would have risked his life <laughs> to bring this content to, to feed you. this family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Brad. All right, guys, I just wanted to pick things up. I wanted to you know, formally introduce Ryan here. What's up, man? Yeah, you know, it's good to finally. We've like, never actually met. We've been, been talking online for like five, six years now. Yeah, <laughs> just never got the, you know, we, we still really haven't had a chance to fish with each other mm -hmm. close. Like when you were with uh, a Ben's Aaron, he was like yep. next to me. <laughs> but I was in the kayak, he was in the boat, and then uh, we've got Luke here from Salt Strong, Joe, Joe, Joe and uh, 
Yeah, thank you so much for uh, inviting me and all the guys, you know, out here for a great time. You really so, tied uh, this party together, brother. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's been awesome. Someone had to catch fish, and at yeah. least Rich knows how to catch <laughs> yes. fish. Even in the fluff. Out of all these people out here, there's yeah. one hardcore guy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, I, I had a blast out there. Um, yeah, what, what, what time's dinner? Or are we just gonna uh, it? We're gonna keep this tournament up until five, and then okay. that's gonna we're gonna clean them then, and if okay. not before, and then probably six o'clock we'll start grilling. So. Cool. So it, I mean, especially if the weather just cooperates, I think we'll you know I'll probably no sneak in another snook hour snook yet, or two. So. Yeah. yeah. So no one no one's called a keeper snook. Luke, you got a what an eighteen inch? Oh, it was a small. One. Got one, <laughs> eighteen is pushing it. Yeah. Also, that's uh, that's being nice to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. We'll uh, I'll just keep you updated. All right. Update for you. The guys are starting to mobilize again, and uh, the tide has switched around, starting to go out, and uh, no one has caught a slot size snook yet. So that's still up for grabs. The, big, the biggest trout, I, like I said, I think is like 18 inches. So someone could still catch like a 19 or 18 and a half and take that uh, belt, or someone can catch a, a slot size bigger than mine. And also, I forgot to mention that, like, basically, it's like the biggest slot that you can catch. Uh, is going to take first place um, in each one of the categories, not the biggest fish. So if you were to say if I caught like a 40-inch red today, it wouldn't have counted. I, I needed that uh, that 23-incher because uh, you know it's close to like an upper slot. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. I'm stoked. I might take the the, the prize for uh, the redfish, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rigged up just like Ryan and Thawney. They're getting out there, and uh, you know we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, hopefully one of us can get a snook or, you know, a bigger trout or heck, I don't, you know, really care. Who maybe someone will catch a bigger red. You know, I'll be happy at least just to to see something else uh nice come up. But uh yeah, I'm gonna get the jacket on because it's still drizzling a little bit and we'll get out there and you know, kayak for a couple more hours and see what we can find. <laughs> back on shore and uh, I got skunked this afternoon. I uh, had some opportunities for some jacks, but uh, that was pretty much about it. And uh, now we're just kind of chilling and uh, gonna start flaying up the fish. Uh, Ryan Morey's uh, cutting up some Spanish Max now, and then uh, I'm gonna hop on and uh, flay up my red. And uh, what we're gonna do with uh, the psychedelic blue rod and the blue abbot is uh, possibly take uh, that uh, Spanish mac carcass and just throw it out there and see if something eats it uh, in a little bit and you know so we can just kind of chill and have fun and then may maybe who knows we'll get a shark to, to eat it. Dude, Ryan, your caption is hilarious. Like, Perfect. Yo Brian, you, did you use these in the flower pots? <laughs> no? no? Those are mine. Oh, whose are these? It's not a bad idea. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> right? And like, I, knew this I was going to look for string or something to tie my rod down, but this is better. There we go. All right. Time to dice up the very uh, stiff rigor mortis reds. Yeah, they're really colored up. We're also going to be doing some redfish tonight, folks. That is Rich with Fishaholic. He's going to win the. He's going to win the belt <laughs> with that one. That's a 23 incher. That's the biggest one of the trips of anybody. That's a nice one. Do you get to cook it too? Um, does anyone else want to cook? <laughs> I'll get, I, sure, why not? <laughs> Someone else got to clean though. <laughs> this knife is a little dull. Yeah, you're doing a little bit of mine there. <laughs> that, was... <laughs> that one's probably shrunk by now. He's it's probably legal. under 18. <laughs> oh, this knife's a lot be better. Negative. What was that, Ryan's? Yeah, this is Ryan's oh, knife. Yeah. Mine was a little uh, beaten down. That's a good red though. Like. 
I it, I swear it hit like that little like that little really? one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, nothing to it. There you go. All right, time to get the skin off these fillets. Boom, just like that. All right, guys, and there you have it. Two uh, beautiful redfish fillets for my 23-inch, uh, uh, possibly uh, red belt winner. Yeah? I think we can definitely. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, so pretty sweet. This is going to taste delicious. I'm probably just going to add some Old Bay to it and uh, throw it right on the grill. So uh, let's get to cooking it. What'd you get that trout on? Uh, Slam Shady, three and a half inch paddle tail, baby. Nice, nice. On an eight ounce Z Man jig head. Sweet. 7 30. Oh, oh got a bite on the oh, shark rod. Go, 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 oh, go, 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 baby. Go, go, go. No way. Got a bite, got a bite. Hopefully, not a big catfish. <laughs> the rod went off quicker. <laughs> I'm calling Kitty. You feel anything? <laughs> 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 Nothing. Uh, Just like getting cleaned off, you know. Yeah. I think we need a new piece. <laughs> Some catfish. We need a new piece. It. False alarm. <laughs> yeah. Everyone here was like, all oh, out. Like, like, take a look. Yeah. Show, show, them, show everyone like jumped out. Yeah, the, everyone jumped down. off the couch Somebody to come and take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get another bait out there. Thanks, cool. Joe. <laughs> Pretty cool. At least something tried to run off of it. All right, you guys got to check out uh, what uh, Brian Mori with uh, uh, with the Spanish mackerel. Oh yeah, that is that is phenomenal. Mm. Mm. It's good. Oh my god. Now, Ryan, what would you uh, call this dish right here? Mm. That's a Spanish mackerel carpaccio. Oh. It's like that's not money. Like there does it doesn't look like a lot's going on. Right. But it's Boom, let's go in here and just all right. Let's try it out. That's good stuff. Spanish catfish is hot. Cameron, you finally made it back. Yeah. yeah. What do you have in here? Two trout. Two trout. Yeah. How big? Uh, 18 and 21. Oh, 21. You yeah, have 21. Yep. Okay. Nice. Good work. Thank you. I don't know if you really do it. Fish coming through. Sorry. The IP. Was that good? Oh. Gotta love the sound of fresh meat Absolutely. hitting the grill and sizzling. I smell some old bay in here too. Oh yeah. Chef Fishaholic. Whipping it. Oh yeah. This whole piece is done. Anyone want a little snack? I mean, it's like can I break? Yeah, it's perfect. Second entree. Dude, that is all right. I'll put it on the stove, I guess. All right, my contribution to dinner is uh, pretty much finished. Just uh, basically redfish with the Old Bay and a little bit of uh, redfish magic and on the grill. Um, you can't beat that. And if you've seen some, you know, me do some catch and cooks, you know that uh, I love to use that seasoning because it's so simple, it tastes good, and uh, it can't go wrong really with uh, putting it on white, fl white flaky fish. And uh, yeah, let's uh, have a bite. And um, I'm not gonna eat all of it, but I'm just gonna have a little piece while it's hot and then let the rest of the guys uh, all help me devour this. And we're, we still got more on the grill too. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fish to eat tonight. And, uh, and we've got something pretty cool um, in store for tomorrow. We're gonna actually uh, wake up early and uh, head over to the East Coast and uh, go for Bear Monday which uh, is a fish that I've always wanted to catch. I wanted to go to Australia and catch them, but there's one place in Florida where you can actually catch them. Some of you guys have probably seen videos of that place or um, have been there and caught them before. So uh, we're all gonna have uh, uh, you know, a day over there and just uh, have some fun. So yeah, should be cool. Mm, let's go. Chef Luke, can you do the honors and give it a, a taste? I'll give it a whirl. 
Let's Tell the, the fishaholic fam at home uh, like, uh, how it tastes. Feeling like this one right here. That's the Spanish mackerel. It's good. Good. I'm feeling like I'm about to throw this. Michael's getting in here and he's gonna make a little redfish sandwich with mayo. That old bit kicker was the was the winner. Oh, okay, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Come on. Oh yeah. Nice bite. <laughs> it's good. That's a dynamite. All right, sweet. I got, I got another little piece. Nah, they're being, they're nice. some mayo with some two pieces of bread. Oh, Max got in there. Yeah, a big hunky piece right there. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, good. Oh yeah. Even the thicker piece. Money. Yeah, we had, we had to keep this thick piece on a little longer, but. You gotta try this. Good. I'm gonna little, make a sandwich now too. Dude, you gotta yeah. try this. Oh, put together a nice little redfish sandwich. Just uh, some mayo, salsa, and lettuce. Let's give it a try. Mm. That's good stuff. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! You gotta put it on him like the UFC. Like you wrap you wrap it around. Thanks, Michael. Difficulties? Take it back after a short break. Thought he's got to put a little weight on. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I've never seen so many cameras. Yeah, you know what? I'm still in the back. The man, the myth, the legend, staring at you. May, may hear it? The guy <laughs> that no one wants to fish with. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Tell, tell us the story. You dragged uh, a young man around for five, six, seven hours. <laughs> yeah, it's putting Almost through the ringer, you know? He needs a lot to, you know, lots of, to be put through to, to know what it takes to uh, be a professional fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was going to have him, but I had him pull out a 23 inch. Alright, so, what, so, so he had a 21 and then you trumped him? Uh, yeah, I, I pulled out a 23. Yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll have to wear this just this with my girlfriend. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll look at Yeah! All the guys so one, guys. stay tuned for wait. this one. We're going to do some Bear Monday tomorrow, and we'll come up with something creative for this. But no one's getting a thousand dollars unless we come up with something special. Oh, yeah, I think nice. we got to come up with something special for, for the biggest Bear Monday. Stay tuned. Ah! <laughs> Woo! I mean, awesome. jump, <laughs> jumping in tonight and grabbing a snook out of the light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Dude, the line's like way over there. I know. Fish on! It's a giant. <laughs> Let's go. I got gotcha. you. He's, he's ripping. He's ripping. Holy cow, dude. You're not kidding. Oh, my God. I haven't pulled. I haven't tightened down I'm yet. I'm on the paddle board. Fish on. Big, big fish? No, it's not big. What is it? It's a tarpon. No, I'm kidding. Hey, that's it. <laughs> Last fish of the day, baby. There you go. Perfect hook set. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, pretty cool. One last little bit of excitement before uh, calling it a night and uh, wrapping up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button for me as well as all the guys that uh, came out to uh, join. Yeah, for today's uh, or this weekend's fishing mission and uh, it was really cool to get out and explore some new waters and uh, make uh, some new friends in the process and a uh, huge shout out to Salt Strong for uh, putting this all together but we're not done we've got another day tomorrow we're gonna head out east uh, a couple hours and try and uh, actually catch some barramundi uh, in a place uh, that I guess is like the only place in the United States that you can catch barramundi and there's also peacock bass largemouth bass so uh, it's uh, like a, an interesting like international slam that you can do uh, in this location where we're going. So stay tuned for that uh, and uh, I will make a full video tomorrow. And uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, then I will see you guys in the next video. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.